And it's a cool, it's a cool ocean out there. Everything seems to eat everything else. The, the bay fish chances of survival. Uh, well, I mean, think of it. They're in about two or three feet of water. They're, they're, they're getting chased by pelicans to begin with. So if they can manage to escape getting eaten by pelicans, they usually get their net thrown on top of them by me. Then they end up in this bait well, and then they get carted, you know, however many miles out into the middle of nowhere, and they go from, from being in the nice shallow water to living in a little live well for a while. Then all of a sudden, they're free again, and they look down underneath them, and there's nothing but hungry fish. They're, 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 their fate is uh, <laughs> not, a, not a very good one. Dig it back up to you. <laughs> oh, there was a bite. bite. Keep dig, dig, dig. There you go. You're on. All right. Halfway up, huh? Yep. Just step over the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Me miss them. You're not Me supposed miss to miss fish them. You're not supposed to miss them fish them. bad. Pretty nice little run. He's covering a lot of water. I think he is. Think so? I don't think he's huge. Well, but, uh, he must be enormous. <laughs> oh, you have little faith. Enormous. He must. He's got to be enormous. Oh, I see deep color. Mm-hmm. Of some sort. Silver? No. Why do I want to think it's a tuna? Could that be? Tuna? Could it be? Could be. He's fighting an awful like, like a kingfish. Oh, OK. He might be. He looked a little more of a gray, maybe? Like a yellowish hue to him. Really? A bit. I don't know. But Could be a tuna. You would know better than I. It's a mystery fish. Whatever it is, it's good, you know? He did not like the side of the boat no. at all. Uh-uh. And has now proceeded to take half a spool line. It's a decent sized fish, though. Yeah, he seems like he I is. did get a look at him. Being extremely stubborn, however. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't know that all we want to do is let him go. Do you want them all to come in easy? Yes. Come in easy and be big. So we can free them to fight another day. I, I would hate to live in the ocean because it just seems that no matter what size, <laughs> there's always something to eat you, you know, you're, you're gonna get eaten by something. And, uh, you know, I, I feel sorry for the bait fish when I net them in the morning because, you know, they're, they're, their fate is sealed. But even the, even the bigger creatures um, get eaten by something quite fast. Come on? No. Huh? It's coming up. Coming up, huh? Oh, man. Come on. There, oh, no, it's a porpoise is after him. That's why the porpoise is after him. Probably a big old kingfish in this porpoise. Come this way, son. Oh. It's just real fast, real fast. Just swim into the boat. Real fast. Just, just keep nice. going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There he is, right here. Yeah. Mr. Kingfish. Look at the porpoise after him. Look at the porpoise Look after him. Look at the porpoise after him. <laughs> get, get away from him, Flipper. God Flipper sakes. one. <laughs> Flipper, get your own meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Look at the marks on. I him. know somebody he had. Got him. I felt no, that, him. That was Flipper got him. Really? Yeah. Look, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Not a bad king fish no. for starters. No, he'll be just fine. Especially first fish and all. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That was a monster sized flipper. <laughs> that was a big old flipper trying to eat him. Well, you know, it's. Good call on the jig. Flipper yeah. is still here. Yeah, flipper is probably going to munch him as soon as I throw him back in the water. Well, you know what happens, Dave, is a lot of the porpoise follow the big schools of kingfish. Huh. And uh, that's one of their primary foods right there. No kidding. Yeah. Let's see if I can hand feed him. Flipper. Your boy. <laughs> there he comes. He's looking. Yes, <laughs> he's got both eyes on Come him on, right Flipper. now. Hello, Flipper. Eat the kingfish. Goodness, look at him. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> took a look at it. He sure did. said, I don't know if I trust that man in the black hat. <laughs> I'm a trustworthy sort of guy. Come I don't on, know. If I was looking up at you through the water, I don't know that I would trust him. Flipper, if you want him, you're going to have to take him out of my hand. I'm gonna let him go and hope for the best, but watch, watch what happens. Is he moving? I think, yeah. Come on, come on, little flipper. Eat, eat. You know, you were saying earlier it's a cruel world out here. <laughs> it's a cruel, it's a cruel world. world. We'll see. All right, just watch where he goes, Dave. Oops, watch yourself on that jig. Flipper's wary of that flipper kingfish at this point. Flipper wants it. Deep breath there and down. Goes. No. Yep, down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Well, oh, goodbye. You know, all we seem to do is feed creatures out it's here. It's cool, but nothing goes to waste. Nothing so, goes to so waste. you don't really feel so bad about it. <laughs> nice start, Watch pal. Watch there, my friend. I don't want to hook you with this jig. When there's enough fish around, I mean, pulling the fly rod out um, is, is the biggest hoot. Just because, I mean, I love to hear a drag go out, and and you, you hook one on a fly rod, and just to listen to that thing peel off that line, uh, and to feel it at the end of a, of a long lever, uh, in, in other words, a fly rod, is a different feel. You know, you, you, you fish the fish on a shorter spinning rod or a plug rod. It's, it's great to catch them that way, but to feel it at the end of a very long lever uh, is, is something else. This one should be a bite. Uh oh <laughs> oh no. He gads, my friend. He had it, and I thought I was solid on him. Ew. Uh, I would say they're very close. <laughs> it was about 20 feet back, and it sank about four feet. So thanks for sharing that. Perhaps you could get one on that fly. Would very much like to see catch one on that fly. Well, whoa, whoa. God, I moved it about one time. Oh my God, there's a pilchard tangled in my fly line. There was a pilchard tangled in my fly line. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> As I said, you are so graceful. Uh, I felt sorry for that poor little thing that was tangled in the fly line. When that line came tight, it was like <laughs> snipped in half rapidly. <laughs> wow. Looks like a pretty good quality fish. Yeah, not okay. bad. Oh, oh, again, I got ripped off here. Rats. Hmm? Oh, I just had another one and lost oh. it. You know, common occurrence. Oh, baby. Here's the little knot that my pilchard was hung in. <laughs> Look at this, Dave. Ah, that is just a little knot. Hey, 
Hey, Dave, you might want to watch that. I'm going to go under the boat here a second okay. at this other side. assistance with that huh would you like me to assist you right now i'm, I'm okay pal right okay. now i'm all right god he didn't take a very long run to be a real big fish but he weighs a ton now well he ate it really hard didn't he yeah yeah i just grabbed the rod and twitched <laughs> it one time you know that's why i stunned those baits that way it's because a lot of times you get better bites on the drift back and then just twitching it, twitching it, let it drift back a little just bit, twitch it. to life. Uh-huh. Got it. Ooh. This is a nice kingfish. Oh. <laughs> what is going on with me? <laughs> Took the first, what, how many in a row, and now I'm just... Oh, there he is. That's a yeah, nice that's fish. That's a nice fish, man. Well... I think this one cut me off. So. Did he? Yeah. I, oh, oh! oh Do you see him? What is that? It's another kingfish. Oh my god! And no, that's a no, cuda. That just it nailed was a it. cuda. Oh my god! Oh no! He just took his tail he just right took off. His tail right off. Oh no! What a dog! Wow! How rude! You like me? <laughs> that was rude. It's very rude. Perhaps that's what ate my jig. Oh man! Oh, look at that poor guy. Look at that poor guy. A nice fish too. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah, that's all right. Here, let me let me get him around like this side. Well, let's uh, keep him, or yeah, we're gonna. I guess we'll just keep him. I got a buddy of mine, Terry Cassidy, who uh, who's got a smoker, and he'll just smoke him for us. All right, bro. Here, let me let me let me just grab him here. Can you take the rod, or you yeah, just grab the rod if you could. You yeah, yeah. All right, that was a nice skin. Yeah, too. Hard to get my hand around this guy. He's a big fish. Yeah, nice. He's... Ah. Oh man. No <laughs> it's that cruel world thing that's been going on all day. Cruel, cruel world out here. Boy, he had that fly just perfect in his yeah, mouth. He did. Too. Nice hook set and everything. I guess the theme for today, uh, Dave, is it, it's a cruel world. It's a little cruel world. <laughs> it's, a cruel... it's certainly not a wonderful life. <laughs> My favorite way of catching uh, those fish is, is on topwater plugs. I think, you know, you take any, any fish and bring it to the surface, you make that fish a lot better. When the kingfish start coming up to the surface uh, more, I like to take um, lures that really skip on the surface. This lure here basically started life as a lure like this with the lip. And because of the nature of the bait that I'm chumming them with, the, the bait's escape mechanism is not to swim down, but rather to, to jump up out of the water. That's, that's the bait's escape me mechanism. So what I'm trying to do is find a plug or a lure that emulates that action uh, the best. So rather than have a plug with a lip that dives down, I take that plug like that and basically just break the lip off. And now I've made that into a skipping plug. And the reason for that is that these kind of lures that when they skip on the surface, like, like the bait that I've been throwing in the water, it has a tendency to make those fish bite by jumping out of the water. Uh, I can get them to bite on a lip plug, but I, I like the bite better when you take the lip off because now the bait's skipping, and how the kingfish deal with bait like that is that they skyrocket on them. It's called skyrocketing, where they'll, they'll start 20, 30 feet under the surface and get a good head of steam out and just literally, just speed, come up and grab the lure in the mouth as they're coming up and then skyrocket down with them. And again, that's the nature of those fish and how they feed. Uh, a lot of times, they're not looking to actually bite the, the bait uh, when they're, or eat the bait when they're on their skyrocket. They're actually just looking with their mouth open to cut or slash the bait. They don't care if they eat it or not. If they 
cut it and slash it on the way up. When they come back down, they spin around and come and get the rest. So again, that's why I like to use these, these things because the, the nature of the bite is just so much more exciting than fishing them with either live bait or a jig. Good with it, and then rip it back to you. One of the coolest things that kingfish do, I mean, the, the thing that, that I enjoy the most about fishing for them is if you get them in certain situations where you chum them up well and, and they start feeding aggressively, they, they start doing the thing we call skyrocketing, where they'll hang down there 30, 40 feet looking up and how in God's name they can see a little tiny bait that far away and build the speed up enough to propel them to hit that bait and, and go, you know, 10, 15 feet out of the air is beyond me. What's really cool about it is that you can also fish topwater plugs in that scenario. And the bites that you get on topwater plugs when they're feeding like that are, are just, you know, out of this world. They have, they have a couple different bites, uh, some where you know, they see the plug skipping on the surface and they line it up and they come darting from way down deep, straight up, and they hit the plug. Sometimes they miss the plug. Sometimes they're aiming at the wake, you know, the little bubble trail behind the plug. And they'll, they'll come up past it and just skyrocket in the air. And that's, you know, so what if you don't catch them? I mean, that's half the fun right there. Then they have another kind of bite where, where they're, they're out, you know, 50 feet away from the bait and they come right on the surface, you know, throwing a rooster tail off their, off their fins and attack the, the plug laterally, right on the surface of the water. So, you know, I mean, I like catching them jigging and I like catching them on, on live bait, but my favorite way to catch them is, is really on top water plugs because you've taken that fish and made it visual. You, you brought them right up to the surface, you've made them jump around, and uh, who cares if you catch them or not at that point, you know, just to see that, that play in action is, is, uh, is something else. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'd say that was two very nice fish, or the same fish. Either way, either way you look at it. There oh he is again. God, there he is again. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that too close to the boat. I think he might get really angry with me. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> oh my god, you see that? Look at that big guy. Oh, look at right now. Everywhere you look. Oh my That's god. That's a nice kingfish. <laughs> You're scaring me. He just he god, he's scurried about. Oh, look at that. Oh, god. Whoa. Look at, look at the little bait swimming back into the boat. <laughs> that guy looks like he knows where he's going. <laughs> Looking at my bait, too. That guy knows where he's going. Don't fall on your plug. Please don't eat me. Oh, there he is on your plug. Oh, boy, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was like a wahoo bite. <laughs> wow. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. That was very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he just came up and slurped it. Oh, good. He missed it. See, the, that little round pug, you miss a lot of bites on. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> 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 Ready? Uh, boom. Oh, my God. Did <laughs> <laughs> you see that right behind the phone? Yeah, I did see that. Go. I'm scared. Boom. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's after your plug. <laughs> oh, right there. Beautiful. Okay, you can switch sides. Okay. Okay. Big fish, bro? No, he's okay. About, you know, same size we've been catching. Oh, right out of the water, all the way. 
Wow, you're trying to concentrate on your fish and there's all this entertainment going on all around you. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty nice fish. Hmm? Let's get a look at him? Yeah. Hmm. There he is. Oh man, that is a pretty nice fish. Nothing <laughs> wrong with him. Hi there, Dave. You know, I'm trying to hook up before I have to take that lure out of his mouth. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> lucky, lucky me. <laughs> Yow. Oh. Come this way, my friend. Come meet my friend, Jose. OK. Stay. There's a nice fish. <laughs> what a bite. Yeah, isn't it great just on the surface, Bud? Because you get such a such a big uh, big commotion there. Easy, fella, easy, easy, just relax. There we go. Thank you. All right, big fella. You are free to go. Swim away. Your way. Bye-bye. Good job, Bubba. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool world out here. Cool world. We'll see. All right, just watch where he goes, Dave. Oops, watch yourself on that jig. Flipper's wary of that Flipper kingfish at this point. Flipper wants it. Deep breath and down. No? Yep, down we go. Down we go. Down we go. Well, oh, goodbye. You know, all we seem to do is feed creatures out it's here. It's cool, but nothing goes to waste. Nothing so, goes to so waste. So you don't really feel so bad about it. <laughs>